Well, hello there. I'm standing in front of this wonderful statue of the god Neptune, also known as Poseidon in the Greco-Roman tradition. And what I love is that the trident that he holds has meanings in many different cultures, including the Hindu tradition, the Jewish tradition, and also the Taoist tradition. So I think that's really cool because I love comparative mythology. So I'm going to tell you some of my favorite books of comparative mythology. The first is Carl Jung's Psychology of the Unconscious, very important book, published here in the U.S. in 1916. And it was one of the first to, to combine the study of psychology of the unconscious with world mythology and artistic tradition. So, a very important book. Then, we have Sir James Frazier's The Golden Bough, published here in 1922. Now, this is a compendium of a number of his earlier massive works of world mythology. This is sort of the combined version, sort of the Cliff Notes version, if you will. And the Golden Bough refers to the bow of a sacred tree that was plucked by the hero Aeneas in Virgil's Aeneid to gain access to the Cumaean Sibyl and to her knowledge. So, very important book. He starts with the Greco-Roman tradition and with the legend of the priest kings of Neni near Rome, in ancient Rome, uh, priests of the, of the goddess Diana. But then he expands out to talk about every world tradition, Asian, indigenous North American, African, Egyptian, Middle Eastern, Norse, Indian, East Asian. So it's just wonderful, very important book. And then the fourth book that's very important is Creed Mythology by Joseph Campbell. This is volume four of his Masks of God series. So in the first three volumes, he studied all the world religious uh, and mythological traditions. Very interesting. And then in this fourth volume, he ties them all together to show how in the 20th and 21st centuries, humanity can be in charge of its own creative mythology, and one that's very much inspired by storytelling and art. And this was a huge influence on George Lucas's Star Wars, in fact, Joseph Campbell got to know George Lucas and he did, you know, obviously a wonderful series of, um, of TV specials talking about the importance of mythology to Star Wars. So, very, very important as well. And I definitely recommend you check these books out. Because it's wonderful to think about how when you see a statue of a mythological figure like Neptune or Poseidon, there are actually so many more meanings to it. And there are symbols within this mythology that unite us across peoples and traditions. So, you see a symbol that might be Greco-Roman, but there'll be a common theme also with Indian, Indian tradition, or the Egyptian tradition, or maybe the North American indigenous tradition. So it's very exciting. I love learning about this because it reminds us of all the things that ties together in common as people.